Each one of these yellow floats represents 450 pounds of shellfish. Basically June through December, January, we've had a lot of uh, plankton blooms this year, so hopefully we're gonna, it'll last all the way till, uh, till February. Uh, so our crop came in in June, but we had to sit on it until September, so it was really overripe and full. Uh, so we got to catch up and, and harvest it all. But I got another crop coming up in December, uh, so we're gonna string the two crops together. Take a look at the um, at the plankton. They count it. They look at they they look for you know two toxic species. They love plankton up there. Uh, but I'll take a look at it as well. I mean I know my toxic species. When I first started. Uh, I talked to all the experts, fish and game, a lot of scientists, and uh, uh, even fishermen. You know, everyone was very skeptical, and it's still skeptical uh, that it working. But uh, um, you know, I invested all my own money and my time. And I started off uh, uh, little by little, just with one long line, a few oysters, and, and uh, um, I had you know each success, and I, I planted more and more shellfish, and I've uh, grown the business now to you know 60,000 pounds of mussels, and uh, we're gonna hopefully do 120,000 oysters. Uh, we did 6,000 oysters last week alone, and uh, you know it all started off. I'm just. Uh, you know, coming out here in a kayak, testing the water quality, putting a few oysters out here and seeing if it, if anything would happen. And you know, 10 years later, here I am.